ratings world. We are anonymous. President Donald Trump faced near certain death after the presidential motorcade he was riding in was targeted by Antifa, with Trump being placed in grave danger. Due to his Secret Service protectors placing him in one of the Roadrunner SUVs, instead of his presidential state car that's able to withstand the blast that would have occurred should this attack been successful, and that was also captured on video. There's the beast. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Look at that car that just came out of the woods. Oh. That, car, dude. that car right there just drove out of the woods. The SVR is authorized under federation law to conduct widespread surveillance on any designated group in the world, and which Antifa was so designated on the 12th of June 2017 by the state of New Jersey Office of Homeland Security who labeled them as being a domestic group, and that led to the SVR's shocking discovery earlier this month that these Antifa were being trained in Venezuela. As it pertains to the attempted takeout of President Trump, SVR surveillance of Antifa operating in the state of Missouri, known as Kansas City Antifa, showed large numbers of them being employed by Google Fiber, and whose location is in a building located at 908 Broadway, in downtown Kansas City, where, also, Antifa frequently hold meetings. The SVR expressed grave alarm when two vehicles owned by Google Fiber left Kansas City and arrived in Springfield, Missouri, at a telecommunication company called the Base Pro Shop Call Center where they were contracted to do work, and that was located in a hidden-slash-secretive position adjacent to President Trump's motorcade route. Following established protocols when discovering an apparent attack ready to occur in another nation's territory, the SVR contacted the Minister of Foreign Affairs whose responsibility it is to notify foreign nations, which in this case was the United States, and whose presidential protective forces were able to thwart this attack when, after the Antifa bomb-carrying vehicle made its attack run, it was quickly disabled by one of Americans' Viper vehicles. In a quick cover-up of the stakeout attempt against President Trump, the mainstream propaganda U.S. news media immediately blacked out this event from being able to be known by the American people, with only a bare handful of local media reports even reporting IT all of whom lied with their saying that the Centavia attack vehicle was just a car that lost control of its brakes, and it occurred at the exact same time President Trump's vehicle was in its sights. As to why the multi-billion international tech giant Google would want to take out President Trump, is due to their fears that Trump is preparing to file an antitrust complaint against them in order to break up their monopoly, and that is following the European Union's successful fight against this mammoth evil giant, that has, so far, cost Google over $3 billion in fines for its abuse of dominance, failing in their attempt to take out President Trump by using their Antifa. Google then went on a rampage against all of their enemies, the most noted being their threat to cut off funding, estimated at $21 million a year, from the highly influential think tank New America Foundation unless they immediately fired their Google experts who are the most experienced in the world as to how this evil giant runs their monopoly and has corrupted the entire U.S. government structure. Upon the New American Foundation firing all of their experts as knowledgeably about this evil giant, Google. One of these researchers fired back a warning to the American people. What Google did, in attempting to silence my colleagues, was in fact a call to action. It is a call to action for all of us, as citizens, to take back our democracy. We must begin a new era of trust busting, of public utility regulation, of free and open commerce, and of citizen engagement in our political and commercial spheres. Our team was attacked by Google but we will not be silenced. We will continue our research, 
advocacy, and speaking, because we know that it is working. This is a battle for America, and for free people everywhere. We must win it. We are winning it. Our freedom, and our children's freedom, depends on it. To how grave this battle of the American people against Google really is, cannot be underestimated as this evil giant, is now, also, reported to being pouring billions of its dollars into U.S. collages and universities in order to corrupt them all, with one example being their multi-million dollar support of Dartmouth College lecturer Mark Bray who wrote a document titled Antifa, the Anti-Fascist Handbook and when condemned by Dartmouth President Philip Hanlon for his advocating violence, Google ordered hundreds of professors to write a letter calling for Hanlon's immediate ouster, not the Antifa supporting Mark Bray. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.